All right, hey guys. Um, I wanted to do this little thing to see if it works, but I wanted to basically watch a match, not really watching it before, because sometimes I will have watched a match already, and then I'll have taken notes, and then I've watched it again, and really just gone over it. So I've watched a match like usually two or three times before I've actually VOD reviewed it, so I really know what's going to happen. But I really wanted to watch a match from the start and not really know what's going to happen. Maybe know the result, but not really know what's happening in the match, so I can give like my first impressions and first thoughts on it, and we can try to go over it together. Um, I won't be pausing much. It'll usually just be like me talking about what's been happening live. So I just finished watching the last game and it was pretty underwhelming and Vision botched a ton of fights because they weren't utilizing their Widowmaker well, i.e. Buds was standing in awful spots and he wasn't landing shots, so. Uh, I mean, this has really just been like the whole season for Envision. Just a ton of uh, Sombra Tracer. And Fusion has been running a ton of this comp, so. This is quintessential both of these teams. Also quintessential Jaru getting caught early. Like, that's happened a ton for them. Fusion does so good about having these little reset scrappy fights all the time. I think that's that's partially the reason why they play Genji Tracer so much with Lucio. Um, it's because they can just abuse how good they are at like recovering and resetting fights and having little mini fights with a, just a part of the team. They're looking to like create a bit of space, so like let them walk in and then they're gonna look to aggressively dive, that's usually what they like to do. Vision trying to kite. They have more sustain here, yeah. They were waiting for beam. Yeah, if you feed a lot of your healing into your Moira, you're not going to have a good counter for Genji. You're probably going to have to commit McGravy and Fire to actually, like, booping him and, like, trying to contest him. Or trying to get a hack on him, but, like, they fed all their healing to their Moira. They're going to get cleaned up by Blades. I'm sure, he only got Fire, but, I mean, that's enough to win a fight. If he's If you, like, force him off on his own. This is smart. Oh, yikes. That was a really good barrier by Elk, but also... Yeah, they just... Zachary was just hiding, waiting to pulse them. Fusion could get punished. No, oh, I can't have any other time. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It felt too slow. It felt like they were playing slow. It felt like I kind of knew what their win conditions were. Like they like they were trying to like force on and stand on the point and then force the tanks to walk off. But it just gave Zachary and Who Are You time to just wrap and then just kill their backline. Even though that's what this comp is supposed to be really good at, I Shiny and McGravy need to peel much harder. Fire and Crimson probably need to stand closer together as well. Same comps. We'll see if they can play it any different. I didn't really see Buds do anything last map either. Shiny went a bit too aggressive, and if you do that, then you get picked off. Fusion's doing really good about stalling here. You stall at the point for as long as you po as you possibly can with like one person who's not going to die. Now Vision is going to just need to commit people onto the point. Hmm. 
It's actually close enough where they needed that beat, but I felt like they didn't at first. Probably really smart. They are struggling with focus fire, though. You could see there, they were like all hitting different targets. Well, you have these long sustained fights. The Moira team's usually going to win. Uh, they are hard committing. Yeah, this is a good primal here, actually. To nullify, like, the... It's basically nullifying the Moira, but, um... Wow, okay. So, Fusion's hard throwing now. I think they just assumed that they could just, like, get things done, nullifying the beam, but then they just don't have a monkey there to help with the dive, so... This is pretty strange. Just alt dumped <laughs> and didn't get anything from it. You see that, like the tanks stand in front, Moira pockets them, and you like trade HPs like Fusion's tanks versus Envision's tanks, and Envision is just gonna out sustain that, and then Fusion's just gonna have to run away. Like that's not how you retick against Sombra. Okay, I guess both these teams just forgot how to play the first map and the second map. Oh, nice tracking, buds. Haha. -ha. Okay, just gotta kill the people who are stalling now. These target focus together. Are you booped? Okay. All right. Let's let's proxy farm these kills now. Okay. There you go. Come on. There you go. Okay. Okay. That was awful. Like first, second map, both of these teams just did not know what to do. You never, like, sure you want to, like, play aggressive with, like, the Zen comp, but you want to have, like, effective dives where you're basically not soft diving with your Winston. You need to, like, hard commit with your Winston. You need Tracer to do damage, and then you hard commit. And get resets with Genji. He was diving to, like, soft commit, and then, like, basically where you just tickle them a bit, and then you walk back, and hopefully you get, like, a better HP trade. But that, like, literally does not matter at all, because they're just going to orb... They're just going to throw Moira Orb and spam heal their tanks, and they're not going to die. And your tank is going to be low forever. They need harder commit damage. Okay, they got to have my gravy. Jar did not do anything that fight. He was... I don't know what he was doing. He wasn't hitting anything. Jar and McGravy both struggled that fight super hard. I feel like Eye Shiny and Buds were both mirroring well. Fire was mirroring Elk pretty much. And then... Alarm was just hitting orbs. And then McGravy was playing scared. That was a good pulse. Yeah, when I think you lose your Lucio that early on, like, there's no way you win the fight. That's a lot of your mid-fight sustain. Alright, Vision's got a lot of ults. Uh, they should be able to counter Who Are You here. They're stacking up here a lot. Ooh, this is gonna be a massive EMP. Got like five people.
That's pretty good. I don't know. I don't like EMP and self destruct together. I feel like you just want. If you EMP them, you just want your diva to boost in and kill people. I don't like it as a zoning tool. I don't think he lost suit there. Oh, they're nullifying this blade. Oh, he did fucking nothing. How does Envision lose this? Okay, I shiny fed. Uh, what the fuck was that? How do you lose? You have man advantage, and they just decided to play way too fucking aggro. Okay. I guess that's how you lose. You just do dumb shit. You don't want you don't want the fight where you're you're discorded and then you're running in without your Moira pocket. You want to take the fight slowly and get like hacks off and then abuse your Moira healing. You basically if you have if you're hard diving with a Moira, you're playing it wrong. Like sure you can have like the sustained fights, but you want like soft dives and fast resets and stuff so that you can abuse your Moira healing. Yeah, you want you want to just have a soft dive where you reset HPs and you come up and you walk in with your Sombra. This is what you want to do. I don't know why the fuck they weren't doing that before. He's got too greedy. There you go. This is good. Okay. This looks perfect for Envision. Oh, wait. Never mind. They committed both support alts. Or you're just going to clean with Blade. I, I've seen this a million times. It's so close. You, you'd you be sitting right here and you'd be like, wow, Envision wins the match. Oh. They were committed. They don't, have en they don't have enough defense. Let me guess. Who are you? He's going to heal up a little bit. He's going to pull Blade and he's going to kill both the supports. Winston dead. Hey, look, a support. Hey, look, a support. Wow! <laughs> oh, my God. Why did they commit both support alts last fight? It was so close. Oh, there's not enough of a window. It's so close. Every time, it's so close. But... Envision just has got to do something stupid. Like, it's in their DNA to throw against Fusion. Like, it's happened every single time. Fusion, they do a lot of dumb shit, and sometimes they don't have the right decision making. But they're still able to win, because who are you and Zachary are clutch as fuck, and they can just do shit. I don't know, man. They double support alts when they didn't need to. The fight before when they just went into halls and killed themselves, like that's just not okay either. They just did not play their comp correctly. So I don't know. Fusion's good, but Envision just does some dumb things sometimes. Doesn't make any sense.